Good afternoon, folks. Kat and I were traveling back from Arizona this morning, but we've got a space weather update and several other items to hit as well. It was a great event last night, and we only have one more on the Blitz Tour next month. Let's go right into the sun. We have continued to have C-class solar flares, but the bigger eruptive story has been with the plasma filaments. A couple filament eruptions took place, others still remain. And we do have the sunspot scenario continuing to present flare threats as they turn in towards center disk. We can see some of these filaments even better here in 304 angstroms. It is clear that the majority of the plasma eruptions were not aimed at Earth, but they always have some broader solar wind interactions. Those are hard to pin down to a significant degree on SOHO, but it appears we may have some faint shockwave components that are headed our way. Luckily, they should be minor. First article today hits zebrafish larva. They found significant impacts of electromagnetic field exposure, and this really brings back the idea that there is no species that will remain unaffected by the ongoing magnetic pole shift and increased exposure to cosmic rays and space weather induction. This really applies to almost all of the tiny life, the infant life, eggs, seeds, etc. Every study on the early stages of life shows a fantastic impact of electromagnetism. Had another good paper here as well, slightly under a veil. They hit the Dansgaard Oeschger events, the Heinrich events, and the 24,000 year cycle, which is two of the 12,000 year cycles. And they really applied mainstream orbital forcing concepts, but observers know what comes along with those cycles. And we have our millennial 6,000 and 12,000 year marks confirmed here again. Now, watch this video I saw on Twitter this morning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Panelists. Let me just go right down the vine real fast. What percent of our atmosphere is CO2? Take your best guess. You don't have to be accurate. All down the line. Repeat that question. What percent of our atmosphere is CO2, carbon dioxide? Wild guess. It's okay. I'll bite. Five percent. Five? I'll just follow you then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go seven. That's my favorite number. I'll see there five and um, suggest that we know that transportation causes 49% of CO2. So that's why we're all working on okay. energy transition. All right. So what number do you think it is? Eh, five. Five? How about you? I didn't hear you, Mr. Oh, Dreher. Seven. Seven. Did you have one, uh, Mr. Boyd? So we got a five, seven. Uh, <laughs> This price is right. Eight. I'm going to get the high end. All right. Well, I, I appreciate that, and I don't mean to I put you on ice. I ask a lot of people that because all we hear is climate change, climate change, CO2, CO2. I heard a couple of you on the panel saying you're looking to change your vehicles to electric, even though we don't have the electric grid. And me as a farmer, I wouldn't be real happy about running out and replacing $300,000, $500,000, million-dollar pieces of equipment because someone wants, someone wants it to be electric. The answer is 0.04%, not 1%, not a half of a percent. It's 0.04%, and it's gone up from 0.03 over the last couple decades. This is what we're being all contorted into doing is this tiny change in CO2. If we, go, if we get below 0.02, plant life starts dying off. So, yeah, folks, that just happened. Those are the people in charge of climate policy. They are clueless. Actually, they're worse than clueless. They are clueless and biased and bought and corrupt. Those cycles we discussed before the Twitter video all dwarf modern climate changes and imply that nature can do much more than what humans can do. But that's not going to stop people like that from doing what they do. If it is not on your radar now, just know that what they have planned for us in the name of climate in the near-term future is much worse than what they did to us over the last three years. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out the links below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 1.30 p.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.